Welcome back. An enterprise entry along the Grand River is trying to make more people aware of what's going on with our state's new no-fault auto reform laws. The most recent portion went into effect this past July. Vermont's advocates said that the changes would limit access to certain medical services for survivors of catastrophic car accidents. Our Michael Martin takes us through this art installation titled, We Can't Wait. We've shown you all sorts of art prize pieces this year, but one on the banks of the Grand River aims to do more than just entertain. Its message to educate folks about what's going on right now, survivors of catastrophic car crashes cut off from access to quality medical care due to changes at our state's no-fault auto laws. I really feel honored that all these people trusted me with their stories to tell them. Immediately east of the Grand River downtown sit 11 wheelchairs. An installation for Art Prize 2021 with the goal of educating the average person walking by about what advocates are calling a medical care crisis. My intent behind this was to portray them as people first, the chair second. The chair is just their mode of transportation. Each chair represents a different person, each of them a survivor of a catastrophic car crash, each of them now struggling to obtain the medical care they need to survive after the most recent portion of Michigan's no-fault auto reform bill went into effect in July. People have to become aware. People have to become angry at what has happened to our survivors that the ones that were promised a lifetime of benefits have lost a lot of that and have lost their care. People like Linda St. Amant's son, David. David's chair is the guitar. David uh, spends any idle time with the guitar, and it really has just added to his enjoyment, his quality of life. As of the start of July, insurance companies are now only required to cover certain medical services at a rate of 55% of what they used to cover, threatening the recoveries of all the survivors represented by artist Christina Wright's art prize entry, We Can't Wait. So if you look into each of these, I hope you walk away with a feeling of them as a person and by stripping everything right to the frame. Her now adult son, Mark, was injured in a crash as a two-year-old. We had an agency um, that we used for about 20 years. In December, they pulled out noting changes in no fault made it no longer profitable for them to continue. Um, and they referred us to another place. They dropped him as of June 30th. So I, Mark and I are spending a lot of time together. Christina took the name of her piece from a Facebook group that was started as a place for survivors and their loved ones to gather, also called We Can't Wait. It was launched by this woman, Peggy Campbell. And it's been really helpful for people to get to network with others, to exchange information, and really figure out what's going on and what the best course of action would be. Peg's own sister, Barb Scohen, is one of the people represented by a chair. This is one that represents my sister Barbara and her love of kitties and also the fact that she's a college professor. The group has worked for months to educate people across the state of what they're going through, with the goal of convincing lawmakers to address the changes and to find a narrow fix that would keep their access to care intact. It's becoming so apparent every single day what we lost, and we have to try to bring our awareness. And so this is a little representation of the We Can't Wait group and the determination and the commitment and how beautiful it can become if things turn out the way they need to turn out. And the group is passing out these bookmarks with QR codes that lead you to the We Can't Wait Facebook group to inform not just survivors and advocates, but anybody as to what they're going through right now because of these changes to Michigan's no-fault auto laws. For now, in downtown Grand Rapids, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News. And that piece is one of hundreds on display in downtown Grand Rapids, and you can check them all out for yourself. Our prize runs this year until October 3rd. For more information on this year's event, you can search Art Prize at fox17online.com.